Ari. Me roba Ari por riso. Sama Hani. Che chao. Jejeje. Um, welcome to my channel and today it's story time <laughs> well this is a story of how i was conned in nairobi it's actually two stories so you guys <laughs> so uh, my first time the first time i was conned i think i was around 22 and i had just finished my um campus and I was hustling for a job just sitting at home and then a friend of my mom came and he was like eh, this guy told me that he's looking for a, a young educated woman like your your daughter and this she needs to go and get her medical done and also I had time marked for like eight months so I was like, oh, I'm just going to take any job because you know in Kenya, you just can't wait around and uh, wait for your ideal jobs. <laughs> so my mom gave this guy 5,000 shillings. I don't know if it was five or more for me to go and do the test, all that medical checkup. It was at Guru Nanak. <laughs> A nice stop. A professional skirt, my CVs in in an, my handbag. And mom has had already given this guy the money to come out so that now we've alighted this part of Pangani, not the the other part of Thika Road. Pangani when you're in Jogo Road, so we can walk through that way. So when we are walking, this guy goes and um get a number 50 credit card you put this credit card to your phone so i can call the doctor so we don't have to take a long line i was like eh okay so scratched the card and then i dialed the doctor's number and then he came he started talking he started talking <laughs> and then he said the doctor told me to meet him inside so I'm like, okay, why is he going with my phone? But since this man came with my 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 mother's friend, I trust him. Hey, hey. This man went inside. I'm standing there. I'm waiting for him to come for me. So I just go inside straight and don't um, get in the line. Because in Kenya, the line is always so long when you're going to get treated. Or even just check up. So I thought like this was just direct connection. <laughs> I waited there. Young Kairet waited there. I waited, I waited, I waited. Until I was like, eh, I waited for so long. From 10.30 to 1. And I'm just there. Now I've even sat down. I'm like, wait, what is this guy doing? So I asked another woman there who was um, selling some uh, street food. I asked her, can you please help me with your phone? I called my line because uh, there's someone I'm waiting for and he's not yet here. When I just called, you, the mobile describer you're trying to call cannot be reached. Sama honey. Mteja Hey, hey, He's going to eat my money. So I just, I said, let me wait some more. I waited some more till um, maybe 2.30. And I was like, okay, this guy is not coming back. And I told that... Um, street vendor my story and she was just like just go home mama just go home and um talk to your mom maybe he'll call you there and since he knows you're home he will come there hey immediately i just knew that this guy had conned me and so i just got into the car i started crying i cried 
I cried and then someone else is coming <laughs> and comforting me, comforting me saying, ah, don't worry, just leave it to God. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to leave it to God, but my phone. And that time I had an iPhone 7, my, my brother had given me, it was a very big iPhone. <laughs> And then when I got home, the woman who had brought that guy to our place was there. And she was like, what's happening? And I just said, mm -mm, don't talk to me. And I went inside. I told my mom the story. I also added that I had given him the phone and he went inside. Oh, my God. My mom was just looking at me like, oh. <sighs> that was my first heartbreak with money. <laughs> So that was how I was conned. I was conned, um, I'd say over 5,000 because I remember my mom was counting the money while he gave it to him and my iPhone 7. And I'm telling you, since then I've never even gotten an iPhone. I was just so heartbroken. <laughs> okay, let's go to the second story. So the second story, I was... This, this has happened to practically um, half of Nairobians. <laughs> I was also just fresh out of school. I was working with a night boy. Yeah, the singer. Uh, we were doing something, launching, launching, and I was there as his customer care. I'll show his the picture. So, that day I just came out from work. We were working at Sarit Center, Westland. So, um if you know nairobi you you know that the cars from westlands they leave you all the way at is it koja yeah is it koja yes yeah it's not only on koja they leave you at koja and then you just have now to walk so koja i'm walking back because my my um my tattoo, my bus is all the way to OTC. So baby girl has to walk and you can't walk all those, the downtown, cause I was also scared. <laughs> you know, I was just um, knowing myself and knowing how to maneuver in Nairobi. So I couldn't walk down the uh, River Road Street. So I had to come all the way to Moy Avenue. So, Moy Ave so I crossed the street at Moy Avenue Street. From there, Moy Avenue, Moy Avenue, not this, the uptown where there is chicken in, Moy Avenue, they are down. So I crossed the streets there, so I'm just walking with my handbag, very proud girl, she's, <laughs> she's cramming from work. Eh, and then, all of a sudden, this guy shows up, and he shows me this. So he tells me, eh, I have, I just, I just picked up this money and, uh, let's go and count it. <laughs> let's go and count it so we can, we can split it 50-50. And I said, me, I don't mind. You just go and count it and let's split it 50-50 <laughs> since he wants to share the money. I was even like, eh, can this guy is seven cent or what? The way I'm hustling here for two thousand shillings, and he's coming to tell me that this, the this uh, envelope is filled with money, and on the top there is a note, a Kenyan shilling note. So I'm like, eh, hey, today's my lucky day. I'll even buy my, <laughs> I'll do some shopping for my family. So I decided, okay. So I'm like, let's go to, um, what are these, Nini? Alto, Altons. Where you will normally buy those chips? Altons. Ah. Ile Benzia Fish and Chips. Mejua. <laughs> fish and Chips, Nkami, let's go there. You count the money. And he was like, no. People in the camera, where they'll be very suspicious. So let's do this. You enter into the women's section. Now, now we are. Now we've walked all the way to. Oh my God. Archives. 
eh, I'm even forgetting Nairobi. I have to go back home and at least maneuver, maneuver. <laughs> anyway, her archives, there is a public washroom. She told me, you enter into the washroom and, <laughs> and uh, go count the money. But since I'm also skeptical, leave me your handbag. So, uh, leave me your handbag. So if you run away with your, that, that way, I make sure you can't run away with the man. Hey, hey. And I was like, okay. Because I knew my phone was not in the bar, handbag. You see, I had lost the previous iPhone. Now my mom had given me her iPhone. <laughs> I used my iPhone was never in the bag again. So even when he was telling me I give him the bag, I was like, oh, as long as my phone is there, it's okay. So I just have my uniform in there. And I was also, that day I was given a new uniform and now the, the clothes I had. So I, I just gave him the bag. Hey, hey, yeah. I went inside. Opened the envelope opened the envelope when I checked when I checked <laughs> huh? it was only 50 shillings and the rest were and the rest were papers eh? And then that's when I realized that this man had gone with me. So I rushed out. Oh, he had gone with my bag. I couldn't see him. So once again, I called my dear mom to cry. <laughs> and I don't know my mom, they were at a gathering. And I called my mom and I asked, why are bad things always happening to me, mom? Now this guy told me I was crying. <laughs> I was crying, I was crying while telling my mom how, how everything went. And my mom was just act, asking about my safety. She asked me like if um, something bad had happened to me other than just the clothes, the my handbag being stolen and I said no, at least I have my phone, which I later, I later lost. <laughs> Oh my god, which I later lost, but um, yeah, so that's a story of how I was gone in Nairobi. So, if you see someone approaching you, telling you that um, they got uh, this envelope and it looks like this, please don't believe them. And also, right now, there are so many cases when someone asks you for direction. I don't know what happens. You can't even remember where you are. They've stolen everything. So these days, when I, when you see me in Nairobi with a mask, sunglasses, I walk. Even if you ask me for direction, go away. Go and ask ask a policeman. There are so many watchmans in the in the uh, supermarkets. Or traffic police, go ask them. Don't ask me for directions or anything. That day has been, has made me very vigilant, very aware, you know, because you have to be aware. So I'm just telling this story for young people to see or for people who have not been conned. Also, like, if you're tamaking for a job and they um, offer you a way in for money, like the... What are they called? Psh, I'm telling you. Mambo ya Nairobi ni misahao. I can't remember things on Nairobi. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Eh, because that town. It's called Nairobi. Nairobi for a reason. Oh, so you see that woman, who, the one who conned me. Apparently, she came and later said that she didn't know that guy. Anyway, let me tell you that woman right now is suffering. <laughs> yeah, where we were, where we, we stay, but she stayed, she stays in a very not good place. That woman is suffering. And you know why she's suffering? It's because
because of the pain that I felt. <laughs> it's called karma. She's suffering. She looks like she looks like a wind can carry her. But anyway, until she comes and apologizes to my mom. These days, I don't even talk to her. Even when women come at my place and they start telling me about jobs, 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 I don't want those stories. Leave me alone. I will hustle on my own. <laughs> so yeah, that's a nice short story. I hope you guys have enjoyed my short stories. I have so many stories. If you would like more on um, a little insight of my life, Always feel free to DM me on Instagram at Hadassawamboy. Follow me and um, follow me on TikTok. <laughs> and also like, subscribe and share. It's a wrap.